Women of the Bad Batch are featured in the Gizmodo piece that just came out. This time next week, in fact, next Thursday, we will be have already seen the first three episodes of the final season of the Bad Batch. I'm very excited for that, personally. Um, ahead of that series, of course, there's lots of press going on. Jennifer Corbett and Brad Rao were asked about some of the returning characters. Fennec Shand is going to return as voiced by Ming-Na Wen. And Corbett also implied that the future Boba Fett partner could be part of a rescue of Omega from Imperial custody. They also talked about Amiri Carr, who was revealed to be a clone as well in the closing moments of season two. Corbett shares that it will be great to see the dynamic between her and Omega because they both have different types of connections with their clone brothers. Finally, as they were talking, and part of what set the internet on fire when the Bad Batch trailer dropped a couple weeks ago, is the return of Asajj Ventress, who appeared on the, last appeared on the screen in The Clone Wars and was reinforced that they stayed true to the novel Dark Disciple, which a lot of people are concerned about, in relation to her animated origins. So lots of excitement about Bad Batch 3. Here's what I love from this. And of course, you know I'm going to pay attention to this because I live in a house full of women. Right. They are highlighting so many amazing female characters in the lead up to this show. Yep. So I'm going to ask you to pick a favorite. Um, who is your favorite female Bad Batch character? And what do you want to see out of that character in this final season? All right. So my favorite female Bad Batch character, it's easy. It's Omega. Um, just because I love the way she says the names of all the, the guys <laughs> in the Bad Batch. I can't get enough of that. Uh, but I really do love Fee as a character. Um, mm -hmm. She just adds like she's like a, uh, a female Han Solo in a way in that I think she's lucky more than she's good in many cases. Um, but I will say my biggest problem with her is that I only see and hear Wanda Sykes and that Wanda's That's great. Right. Wanda's amazing, but she's got one of those voices. Like it's like Tom Cruise. You see him in any movie. It's like, Oh, that's cool. It's Tom Cruise. Right. Yeah. You hear you her. Put Tom Hanks into animated star Wars. You're going to go, why is Woody in star Wars? <laughs> exactly. Exactly. Um, but I think the biggest potential honestly comes from Emery Carr, who um, is a clone. And that just adds so much dimension. Does that mean like she's an older version of Omega? Is that what's going on there? Um, and of course, that's also means that she and Omega are, I'd say Omega, right? We you have, to get, have yep. to get back in that, that mindset. On brand. <laughs> um, she and Omega are Boba Fett's sister. Boba Fett. Mm -hmm. At the same time, now we've seen, and listen to them like tinfoil hatting and red threading all over the board here. Um, we're bringing back Fennec Shand, who... I, I like as a character. She's fine. Right. Um, she had the coolest scene in Mandalorian when she's like flying backwards and mm -hmm. shooting awesome stuff. Um, but to bring her back and bounty hunter version of Ventress gives you a perfect opportunity to reintroduce Boba Fett. And right. which man, if they do that, then we've got all kinds of star Wars connections. Mm -hmm. And then you're also maybe making that connection directly between Boba Fett and when he found uh, Fennec in the sands of Tatooine. So I think it's uh, I think there's a lot of opportunity with the female characters. You put me on the spot, so I'm going to put you on the spot. Who's your okay. favorite female character? It's, um, I, it, for me, it is Fennec Shand. And yeah. that was not a character really that I had much association with before Book of Boba Fett. While Book of Boba Fett is not my favorite of all the Star Wars things that have come out in the last 10 years or so, yeah. uh, she was one of my favorite parts of the Book of Boba Fett. She has similarly that cool vibe she kind of is the cool version of what boba fett was to us when we were kids yeah yeah like he was quiet he was cool he didn't say hardly anything and fennec is that cool and of course ming na win is the one that brings that to sure. that character yep. and you know she doesn't have to say a lot but she's effective and you're just like mm, she's getting stuff done and when she shows up it's either good news or bad news there's no in between so I'm excited to see that extend out and what she did in, you know, the second season of Bad Batch, you know, for that character. I'm totally here for that. Yeah, I, and I, I do. I, you know, I think she's a really interesting character. She's been an interesting character since we first got to see her um, in in uh, in Mando. So I, I think mm -hmm. it's cool. I'm I'm all for it. So without a doubt.